Good morning. Uh, I'm going to do a video on a new clamp system I made for the gravity mold. Uh, I did a video earlier uh, on the graphite clamps, but since I did that CNC project and actually have a machine now that will cut repetitious over and over on size, uh, it's allowed me to make clamps that you really don't even have to modify the gravity mold they just fit on just like the other ones do I mean it's really easy I'll reposition around and show how I do it there's probably lots of ways to do it I try to just start out with a flat surface a reasonably flat and with the sprue section on top you can tell I've made lots of molds out of this one piece of graphite uh, I take the two halves and I just set them down and being that this has got the crucible section I take the half with the port that's it right, you don't got to hit it you don't have to do anything to it the bottom piece is blank you just put it on same thing done uh, and the cool thing about this is the fact that the, all the graphite expands at the same amount which means when the clamps get bigger the mold itself has actually gotten bigger so and I did a quick test the other day to where I used an old wore out uh, gravity mold and even though I could wiggle it it still poured perfect so what I'm gonna do it's a bright hot day here in Oregon one of the few rare ones uh, I'm gonna reposition out there and I'll melt some silver in one of these and uh, I'll be using the micro mini it's a propane fired fern or kiln whatever you want to call it but uh, works well and then I'll explain what you get when you put such a large mold into a small furnace okay well the first thing I'm gonna do is load this up with some silver this is silver I reclaimed through a cell pack that down a little bit I had to do it and I spent a lot of money making a silver cell shouldn't have shouldn't have done it but what the hell life is short so I'm gonna pack that down hopefully get an ounce in there so this is gonna be pure silver and pure silver don't pour as well uh, don't ask me why Sterling makes beautiful and good silver looks kind of the pure silver looks kind of wavy so let me reposition and we'll get this set up okay when you run a little kiln like this you can see I don't I don't rigidize when I put a new liner into a, a kiln I, I just run it like it is and yeah it flakes but uh, I got miles of it okay so this is a very tall mold for a very small furnace but it has enough clearance here so what I have I don't sell these but maybe I should it's an expansion ring uh, and all it does is it just gives me a little more height and what that will do if I take this the top and put it down on top of there it's gonna choke off the outlet so much that it, it will just sound uh, very low sound very minimal gas rushing out the top so uh, the expansion ring is gonna allow the gases to come up around the top clamp and then exit so I will get this lit and uh,
vigorous rushing sound. And naturally, the, the guy that makes the furnaces can't afford to have a handle. Nice and toasty in there. As you can notice, I, I just, I don't rigidize the KO wool. Uh, I do it so it's a better looking product when I sell it, but it, it lasts just as good like this. Uh, it just doesn't look as neat. Well, that's going to take a little bit to cool, so I'll be back. Probably all told that probably took right at four minutes. All right, it looks like it's cool enough to <coughs> get that out of there. Huh? Well, stayed together. I wonder. I will see what I get now. That is hot. There we have an ingot. Uh, I can't see the viewfinder, so it wouldn't be very long before you would be able to take those two halves, put them back together, put them in the mold with them. Still a little warmer than you'd want to touch, but if you're not in that big a hurry, let them cool down, put them back together again, and away you go. Uh, this would work exactly the same for the vertical pour. Uh, 
you just use the cavity half, the back half, the sprue half, and uh, put the two clamps on them, melt your silver, and pour them. So that's the new graphite clamp, easy to use. Uh, don't think I'll be making bars anymore. <laughs>